I can specifically see. Uh, I can understand embryology and developmental biology. Uh, I can understand the words that are translated to me from the Koran. Uh, as I gave the example before, uh, if I were to transpose myself into that era, knowing what I knew do today and describing things, I could not describe the things which uh, were described. Uh, I see no reason, uh, I see no evidence for the fact uh, to refute the concept uh, that uh, this individual, Muhammad, had to be developing this information from someplace. Uh, so I see nothing here in conflict with the concept that uh, divine intervention was involved in, in what he was able to write. Muhammad was a very ordinary man. Yeah. He couldn't have read, 
did not write. In fact, he was an illiterate. And uh, we're talking about 1,200 years ago, you have someone, an illiterate person, making profound pronouncements and statements that um, are amazingly accurate of a scientific nature. And uh, I don't, I personally can't see how this could be a mere chance. There are too many accuracies. And uh, like Dr. Moore, I have no difficulty in my mind reconciling that this is a divine inspiration or revelation um, which led him to these statements. literature. 